friends, today we are going to draw a fire puppy. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our puppy or our dog's nose. We're going to draw a letter V in the middle of our paper, and I'm going to draw it about this size. Yeah, and then we can draw the top of our dog's nose. And then let's color in that upside down triangle shape. Anytime during the lesson, if we go too fast, or even if we speed up the video, what can our friends do? Pause the video. If you need extra time. Now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down from the nose, and we're gonna come up to the left. And then we'll do the same curve coming down and up to the right. Then we're gonna draw the tongue sticking out. We're gonna draw a letter U between those two curves that we first drew. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left and then the same size circle over here on the right. Then let's draw smaller circles in each eye and I'm drawing them in the top left. This is the highlight to make the eyes look shiny. Now let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now we're ready to draw the shape of the head. We're gonna start over here on the left side and we're gonna draw a letter U. It comes down next to the eye. We're gonna come underneath the tongue and then back up next to the right eye. Then on each side, let's extend the side of the head up higher. Now let's draw the ears. We're going to start here on the left side and we're going to come out and then we're going to curve around and then back in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll come down with a diagonal line and then we'll curve around and then back into the cheek. Now we're ready to draw the hat, the fire hat. We're going to start here on the left side and we're going to draw a curve that comes up and then down in the middle. Then we'll come back up and connect to the other side. Then let's draw a diagonal line that comes up from the ear and we'll do the same thing over here. We'll draw, come out on the ear and then a diagonal line up and we'll stop in the same height on both sides. And then we're gonna connect those two lines together. I'm gonna turn my paper diagonal to make it a little easier to draw that line. Then let's draw two shorter lines up on each side. And then we're gonna connect those lines together also. Now we're gonna draw a shape in the middle of the hat. And we're gonna start right in line with the nose. And we're gonna draw an imaginary line that comes up and we'll draw a guide point directly above the middle of the face or the nose. Then we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and into the hat. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, curve down and into the hat. Then we're going to draw the side of the hat. We're going to start here a little lower and then we're going to curve around and then connect to the outside of the hat. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. We did it. We've drew our puppy's head and also the fire hat. Now let's draw the body. Let's start by drawing the collar. We're going to start here on the left side and we'll draw a curve that comes under and then back up. And then we can draw the dog tag right here by drawing a circle. And then we're going to draw a line coming down on the left and also a line coming down on the right. Then let's draw the front legs. We're going to draw another line that starts up here close to the dog tag and we're going to come down and stop in the same spot as the outside line. And then we'll repeat that same line over here for the other leg. Then we can draw the paws. We're going to draw an upside down U for the left paw and the same size upside down U for the right paw. And if you need to, you can extend the arm lines down to connect to the paws. 
<laughs> then we can draw the bottom of the paws. We'll draw a little curve, connecting both sides together. And then we can draw two little curves for the toes on each foot. Now let's draw the belly. We're going to draw a curve in between the two feet. And we can also draw a little shirt or a firefighter's suit on our puppy. <laughs> we can draw two curves there and then also one down here for the bottom of the shirt. Now let's draw the back legs and we're drawing our little puppy sitting down. So we're going to draw the knee coming out and then back in. And we can draw that same upside down U shape over here on the right side. We'll come up, around, and then down. Then we're going to draw the paw, the back foot coming out, and then we can curve it back in. Let's do the same thing for the other foot. We'll draw that curve coming out and down and connect back in. And we can draw one little toe line on each foot. Now let's draw the back of the hat coming down behind our puppy's head. So we're going to imagine this line right here coming down behind the ear and we're going to draw it coming down and then we're going to connect into the shoulders. And then let's draw that same line over here on the right side. We'll have it coming down and then in the same spot we're going to draw a little corner and curve into the shoulders. What's our puppy missing? A tail. Yeah, let's draw one coming out to the side. We'll draw a little curve coming out from the leg. And then we're gonna curve around and then back into the leg. We did it, Tara. We finished drawing our fire dog, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. I think we could actually add spots and turn our dogs into Dalmatians. But our art friends, you guys can color it any way you want. You could change your dog so it's a different breed. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our fire dogs, and I especially love yours. Oh, thank you. I love yours too. Oh, thanks. They look so much better all colored in. I hope our art friends will take time to pause the video and color their dogs. We use markers to color our drawings, but you can use colored pencils or crayons. You could also add a background to finish your drawings, maybe the firehouse or even the fire truck. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your fire dogs with us. I'm sure your drawings turned out super cool, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.